In this video, I'm going to talk about Bookable Resource within Dynamics 365 Customer Service Omnichannel application. Now remember, Bookable Resource is a functionality which is not specifically limited to Omnichannel for customer service, but it can be used across project service automation, field service automation, and even for customer service uh, module as well. Now, what is Bookable Resource? Bookable Resource is a type of resource which can be booked or scheduled for any activity okay example a resource can be booked to resolve a case or execute a task now here in this case it's a person right a person can be booked to resolve a case or execute a task now that this person can be a bot as well so it can be machine okay or this particular resource can be an equipment okay so take for example uh, you may need a crane to uh, do some uh, heavy lifting activity so then that is a resource okay or maybe you need a crew or a group of users okay or maybe you may need a pool of resources or maybe a, a facility you know like a uh, wide arena uh, to uh, uh, hold a uh, a conference okay now all these things human non-human tangible uh, resources are the bookable resource now the resource type is classified into generic contact user equipment account crew facility pool now we are not going to go into all those things but it is very important to understand that resource is not only person it can be a an equipment as well or it can be a uh, a crew a group of users or a pool of users okay now bookable resource can have resource characteristics example skill set okay bookable resource can only be added to capacity profile so how this thing works is uh, every bookable resource like uh, which you use in omni channel will have a resource characteristics resource characteristic is basically a skills so take for example if Giresh is a resource uh, and Giresh might say he's expert in power bi or maybe power apps okay so that's a skill set which Giresh exhibits okay now if i say Giresh is proficient in uh, power virtual agent so that means the resource characteristics is power virtual agent with a uh, like a the rating within power virtual agent as proficient okay now bookable resource can only be added to capacity profile so capacity profile is basically uh, you know, setting up some parameters or like the capacity for that particular agent to work on so take for example if say Girish can work on only two high priority case within a day then a capacity profile needs to be created within your system which will say uh, 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 high priority cases capacity profile and then within that you can specify the quantity as two and then you can assign the user as Girish. now remember the user can be assigned to capacity profile provided the user is a bookable resource you can't add any user within your organization into capacity profile now uh, as you see over here under bookable resource uh, so this is say my name okay so if, if i'm a user okay now under my name you will see the work hours okay now these are the work hours which through which i can work okay to do some activity now i have my own calendar defined where i will say this is the time which i will work this is the time which i will not work this is a holiday time and this is the time which i will have a break on okay now under service scheduling you will find resources okay now here see the definition it says anything that needs to be scheduled can be termed as resources this can be personal crews service center company assets equipments accounts or contacts and more than that now under bookable resource if you see there is a bookable resource characteristics as well okay and then we can define the skill against that bookable resource now here if you see uh, against a user you can define the skills configuration now here the resource type alex is the resource type of user and uh, i can see some information about that bookable resource once you create that new bookable resource uh, you can uh, go into capacity profile and add the user and then you can see the capacity profile for that particular user uh, for a user a bookable resource you can see the characteristics 
okay like power bi power apps and all those skill set and the rating value which is fair good proficient expert you know those sort of things now uh, let me uh, show you something in action so how to view the bookable resource so let me go into the admin centers now i am in the admin center over here okay now here what you need to do in order to search for bookable resource you need to go to search admin setting settings and say bookable okay now bookable resource is usually found in service scheduling resource categories okay so service scheduling if i go to service scheduling uh, let me reject the call from one of the chat requests so yeah that's fine okay so under service scheduling if you see here uh, you have bookable resource so i think the other agent is receiving the call so let me check this call okay yeah sorry about that uh yeah again we are here on service scheduling in service scheduling okay i'm receiving continuous call so let me so this is because i have enabled a couple of agents over here uh like the customer and then that customer is you know like calling continuously so that's why you see that you know this maybe let me accept the call and then let it work on okay now under service scheduling uh, again coming back here i can see the service over here oh i think the other agent is receiving this call okay let me accept that from the other agent as well so again uh, under service scheduling if you see uh, resource categories you can group your bookable resource by type if you click on manage <coughs> You will see all the active resource categories over here okay now what is this category now if i go into say say software engineer okay now this is a bookable resource category okay now assume that this is kind of some sort of a designation okay now say software engineer now software engineer can exhibit various skills or a competency okay now here you can have a new role competency you can define a skills for that software engineer now say let's assume the skill is uh, say is that a c sharp no maybe html okay so html is one and the proficiency level if i say is familiar with it and this is a uh, html and save and close now what we have done we have added html uh, as a skill set for a software engineer which is a bookable resource uh, category okay now why i'm showing you this first is because you need to have a bookable resource category assigned to a bookable resource okay now uh let me go into say users okay oh uh, where is the user on the left hand side you'll see user management and here uh, you can see uh, manage the users who can access manage dynamics 365 if i click on manage and if i navigate to any one of the user okay over here i'll show you both the option this is the first option so you go into a user you are in, under a user uh, context now now here under user information can you see all these different options like user form business user information form application user okay you see all this information over here and you can navigate to all this information for a user now if i again go to user and now if i pick any enhanced user management and if i click on manage here i can see a different interface okay because now this is an enhanced model if i click on say alex bilber okay i can do a whole bunch of things like i can update the skills i can update the queue i can update the capacity profile for that particular users okay now this is also one of the way through which you can there are multiple ways you can add skills you can add capacity profile uh, and and these are the skill set and the cap capacity and the capacity profile which you can see uh, within this interface okay now again going into a uh, search 
admin settings okay and uh, here if we search book cable resource it will show you that service scheduling resource category so if i go to service scheduling okay and here instead of going to resource category let's go to resources you see anything that needs to be scheduled can be termed as resources now if you go into resources click on manage now here you will be able to see active bookable resources okay now you can click on new and you can start putting the uh, information okay now if this is just a resource type of user you can start looking for user now here i think i may have put adil over here so it might not allow me to put in so if i click on adil vans okay now here adil vans is one of the bookable resource which i have uh, uh, added okay now let me save and see what happens okay it says there is already another resource record associated to this user okay because i've already added adil as a bookable resource so let me go back and go to adil and open this record now here again uh, this adil is a bookable resource which i added long back you can add it manually if um, if the resource is not marked as bookable because it's very essential that in order to use in the customer service omni channel interface the user needs to be a bookable resource now here if you go to omni channel you will see the resource skill set now this is the resource skill set which we have added you know like a pva uh for this particular uh, resource now i can add another skill set over here by clicking on new bookable resource okay i can specify the work hours for that specific resource i can say that uh, say adel can work for specific period of time here i can go here and as i say edit all events in the series or maybe i can edit this specific event and i can say uh, that adel can work for uh, based on the capacity and then uh, Adele can work from this time to this time and I can add a break and I'll say Adele will have a break between 12 p.m. to 12 30 p.m. and then Adele can have an, another break uh, here and this is how Adele works basically and I can set the time as well so here I have set the uh, calendar scheduling for that particular resource so uh, the like as I showed you, uh, when while creating this resource, you get multiple options, you know. Now, uh, we are only concerned with the user option, but there are other options which is applicable for other particular applications. So if I click on new over here, you can see the resource type as generic, contact, user, equipment, account, crew, facility, uh, and pool, okay. Now, why this all things are important is because this is getting impacted at project service and field service application level as well and that's why for all this application microsoft has created a unified bookable resource which can be used across multiple application so that's it folks this is all about bookable resource remember in order to use the capacity profiling within your organization you need to have a bookable resource and the bookable resource can then be uh, act as an agent to resolve the issue within your uh, system Thanks for watching.